Welcome back. I'm First Alert Meteorologist Jack Van Meter, and unfortunately, it's not going to be a great week for our lawns out there. It'll be a great week for us just because it's going to be dry and not humid and sunny conditions will prevail, but might be a time to set up the sprinkler for our yard. We're actually not going to be expecting rain until next week. So our, our lawns are unfortunately going to be drying out. May want to go out there and set up the sprinkler for much of this week. But for our forecast for tonight, we are going to be calm and cool once again, and that's going to be pretty much setting the precedent for the rest of the week. 52 degrees is is going to be that low temperature we're going to hit in the overnight hours tonight. Mostly clear skies, cool and crisp once again. So may want to grab that light jacket as we are headed out. It is going to be a cool one. Also, you can open up those windows and let some of nature's air conditioning come in there and take care of the build tonight. For our school day commute for tomorrow, going to school, may want to grab that jacket. Only 54 degrees from 7 to 9 in the morning. So it's going to be quite cool out there. Again, just want to hold on to that sweatshirt. Just stuff that in your backpack for the day for the day because when you come back home should be just absolutely glorious again going to feel like late September in our afternoon going to be absolutely picture perfect but we are going to be dealing with some gusty winds throughout the day tomorrow I've got future track actually stopped here at 8 p.m. tomorrow night just to show actually how strong some of these wind gusts are going to be tomorrow from the north as we can see up in St. Joseph actually pretty strong 29 miles an hour and all these winds are going to be coming straight off of Lake Michigan you got to remember Lake Michigan is pretty much dead flat so there's no obstacles for the wind to run into so it really can just ramp up speed and pretty much just come on shore and give us a bit of a bad hair day. I myself included with that. So I'll be wearing a hat for tomorrow for our muggy cast. Yeah, not too bad, huh? Calm, nice conditions for the entire week when we have dew points in the low 50s and actually at some hours of the day, even lower than that, actually be in the 40s. It's going to be absolutely lovely. You don't even feel the humidity in the atmosphere. You just have that real, real feel temperature. It's going to be very, very nice. And the reason for all this is we're in between weather systems right now. So let me take a step to the side here so we can actually show our map. We have that low pressure system that we dealt with over the weekend, and that is now in the eastern part of the country. But we're now dealing with high pressure in the west, and we're kind of sandwiched in between it, dealing with those northerly winds. But as I put this in motion, we do see a bit of a change happening. That high pressure is slowly inching towards us, meaning we are going to start warming up quite a lot, especially by Friday. And take a look at these heights really jumping well up into Michigan. One of the main reasons why we'll be seeing some pretty hot temperatures, especially by next weekend. All right, here's that 10 day forecast so you can plan out the rest of your week and next weekend. And take a look at this again, gorgeous temperatures, but Come Friday, we start to really crank on the heat and get well into the 90s as well. But before we get there, look at Tuesday's low, 48 degrees. Wow. Ooh. Today really got me in the fall spirit. Yeah. I'm not complaining about that. I'm kind of no. ready for fall. I am ready.